Welcome back to an early afternoon edition. Eating my shorts right here at the rant and chair, smoking a freedom cigarette. Shout out to Lucky Strike. So I've got an interesting idea that I'd like to share with the rest of the class here. And uh, for those of you soft ears and you know fragile minds, you know need not apply. And you know, I'll give you the obligatory three seconds. Okay. For the rest of us that chose to stick around. Well done. You deserve a gold star for the day. I'm going to talk about a very obscure subject matter that I don't believe is discussed enough. My apologies, folks. I'm going to get my hand cramp. Oh, I fucking hate hand cramp. Anyway, in Honolulu, Hawaii, I believe it was, back in 1996, a man, yes, a man, named Miranda, after being fired from his job and becoming a bit on the disgruntled side, you know, like a postal clerk gone berserk. Um, he walked in the building calmly with a shotgun and then proceeded to take his four co-workers and his boss hostage. Now, this man came into the building armed with a pump shotgun, maybe a few extra rounds, full tube, so you're talking five, maybe plus one in the chamber, provided, you know, he didn't do the cruiser ready configuration. Now this is important, this comes into play here, so bear with me. This man proceeded to take the hostages, um, then after shooting his boss in the leg, who escaped, by the way, um, he had one of the hostages duct tape the shotgun to his hand so he had access to the trigger, tape the shotgun barrel to said hostage, and then proceeded to demand $20,000 from his other boss and a pack of cigarettes from the police department. Now, the police department obliged him with the cigarettes, and goes to show you folks, be prepared if you're going to do some man shit, bring your smokes with you. And then promptly walked out the building with said hostage in tow. Now, hostage in front of him, he's in the back, holding Mr. Boomstick. Okay, so... Hostage being demanded to count down 60 seconds, and then the story ended after failed negotiations declined. So, you know, Mr. Boomstick decided to do the talking and uh, count down from 60. Now, when he got down to about 13, the hostage, accepting his death, turned to face said gunman and proceeded to wrestle for the gun. Now, this is not always a good idea, but, you know, it worked out for him. After receiving minor injuries and having an ear blown off, and uh, probably shit in his shorts, because, you know, that's what you do when you get your ear blown off, uh, successfully grappled with the gun, got it away from the guy, which is still duct taped to him, by the way, and he ducked down to the ground right as the police department proceeded to fill him full of more holes in the asshole day parade. Shout out to them. And tragically, this scumbag didn't survive their injuries even though he was treated medically at the same hospital that the other hostages were. Now, my issue with this is I can understand being a crazy person. I can understand you know, wielding a shotgun against your foes, right? Because boomsticks make things a glorious smattering in a pool of blood. What I can't understand is how does a man forget their smokes before doing some demon shit like that? Like, he had to have been crazy, and I know, this logical fallacy, right? And I try and keep shit lighthearted here. But jokes aside, folks, don't forget your cigarettes, especially if you're going to do some dirty shit like that. There's nothing like smoking a Vicks.